My grandfather always talked about his army days and talked about the missions he went on and talked about his career all the time and would always tell stories and he was always so proud of them. I wanted the Air Force to be my career. I wanted to stay in for a full 20, maybe 30. I, I, I wanted to raise my kids in this kind of environment. You know, having to, having to leave that will be the hardest. So personally, after I, I read the tweets, I was, I was initially very upset. Um, it, it's hard to read, you know, when you, when you find out you're probably going to lose your job uh, in any situation. Um, so, to, so to read it uh, through a tweet was, was even more hard. I didn't want to believe that a tweet had that much weight on our life. I am a, an optimist through and through, and I told my husband, don't worry, it's just a tweet. <laughs> but I think we both knew deep down it was going to become more than that. And so now we are faced with policy changing, uh, being stuck in limbo, and the unknown. Within the Air Force, I'm completely open with everyone, with my command, with supervision, with my peers, and I have received the most amazing amount of support. Um, you know, they, they see me for who I am, they see me for the airman that I, I strive to be. There hasn't been a disrupt with the unit cohesion, there hasn't been an upset, there hasn't caused a division within my unit with me existing and doing my job. I think diversity in the military and in life is important. It's what makes our country truly great.